Now, most of us fall into a trap, I would say, or fall into a routine, and we tie on the same weight lure 99% of the time and stick with that one. For me, that's a quarter ounce. I fish quarter ounce most of the time. But there are definite moments when going up or going down can make a huge difference. So let's really get into the details of that. Now, some of the obvious situations, we know that we're gonna put on a big heavy jig if we're trying to fish a little bit deeper or if we have some cover like emergent vegetation and we wanna punch through it, a heavier jig is gonna do a better job with that. But there's some other scenarios when I'm going to pick one over the other besides just those two more obvious ones. So let's jump into the first one. Number one, I like to use a big one ounce jig or three quarter ounce jig when the bottom composition on the lake or river that I'm fishing is rock, whether that's pea gravel, a little bit bigger than pea gravel, maybe even all the way up to a uh, fist size rock. And this particular flipping head will come through it okay. Most of the time I'm gonna go with a football head because it's less likely to wedge into the crevices. But the reason I like a big jig in those situations, one is you have a lot of bottom contact, okay? So you can feel what's really going on. And then also it makes a huge commotion down there. It's gonna pique the curiosity of any bass that are in the area and they're gonna come on over and see what is going on. Now, if it gets stuck all the time, just wedged in there and stuck constantly, then clearly I'm gonna to have to go lighter. That's why I say I like to use the really heavy ones when I've got small rock. You know, pea gravel, slightly bigger, is definitely by far the best and a football head is a, is a good choice there as well. The other time that I like to use a big, heavy one ounce jig is when I'm trying to mimic that silk cloud that a crawfish will kick when, when they take off, when they're, when they're you know, scared, startled, spooked, or whatever, and they kick off, they will leave a silk cloud. Now, obviously the bottom composition has to be right, but I've had some really good success fishing big one ounce jigs in ultra shallow water. I mean water that's only a few inches deep or maybe a foot deep, because when that one ounce jig hits the bottom, poof, it leaves that little silt cloud. And especially in clear water, okay, a bass can see that and their instincts are thinking crawfish. Now this works best in bodies of water that have a very large crawfish population. I find that it does much better in there because the bass are way more keyed into it than let's say in a lake or pond that just doesn't have a lot of crawfish. But that situation is kind of a unique specialty deal and it doesn't work all the time. But I have had moments where that one ounce jig in shallow water with a silty bottom will outfish a lighter jig. Okay, so what else as far as a lighter jig or a heavier jig? The next one's really going to depend on water clarity. If the water's really clear and what I start off with, like that quarter ounce jig I talked about, and I'm not getting the bites, I'm going to go a little bit heavier. I want that jig to drop quicker and hopefully get some reaction from the bass as it kind of flashes by them. Now the opposite is true in water that's got some stain to it or dirty. Then I might go to some smaller jigs, lighter weight jigs to slow down that fall rate. The other time I'm going to go ahead and really scale up or down is going to be determined on the wind conditions. The stronger the wind, the heavier the jig, the lighter the wind, the smaller the jig. Okay, so let's just assume we've got, you know, water that's got visibility of a couple feet. All right, so if that wind is really kicking up, I need to feel those bites, I need to maintain contact with the bottom, I'm gonna go with the heavier jig. And in some cases, that one ounce is gonna be, man, it's gonna be perfect for that situation. But if it's flat, calm, super slick, I'm gonna try, probably start at that quarter ounce and then work my way down into you know more of those finesse type jigs 
if needed. Now one place that a heavy jig can really shine is when we are ledge fishing. If you're out there on a creek channel and it's you know 15 foot and it drops down into 30 feet, that big one ounce jig or three quarter ounce jig can get down there quick and really plow away on the bottom. If you'd like to watch a video on the basics of ledge fishing, go ahead and check this one out right here. And hey, don't forget to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.